My name is Simon and I'm working as technical product manager at M2P Labs. Presently, filamentous fungi play an increasingly important role in biotechnology, as they are recognized as key producers of both enzymes and secondary metabolites. This is why I want to make you aware of our application node, high throughput cultivation of the cellulolytic fungus, Trichoderma resi in the Biolector Pro, which deals with that very current issue. This fungus can produce high titers of extracellular cellulolytic enzymes, which are of special interest for the valorization of lignocellulosic waste material. But Trichoderma is only one example of industrially relevant filamentous fungi. They more and more shift into the focus of scientific interest. Yet their cultivation remains challenging due to their complex morphology, which is why screening processes are mainly performed in shake flasks with an inherently limited throughput. The bottleneck has hence shifted from GMO creation to clone cultivation and parameter screening. In order to increase efficiency, small-scale systems may be applied. And in this application node, we use the Biolector platform to increase throughput by using microtiter plates and yet allowing the online monitoring of the most important parameters that are biomass, pH and dissolved oxygen concentration. Low shear stress allows cultivation without disturbing the fungus morphology and macromorphology. To keep this similar between small scale and later pilot and production stage is important for gaining useful information for a realistic scale up. Comparative cultivation study between the two systems revealed a very reproducible growth and cellular secretion pattern compared between conventional shake flasks and bioelector cultivations. As can be seen in figure one, cellulase activity in the supernatant as well as culture medium pH resemble each other quite well, and so does the macromorphology indicated in figure two. In the second part of our application note, we also performed some further exemplary screenings to demonstrate the suitability for application-oriented research as, for instance, a carbon source screening for enhanced protein production. In the second diagram, you can see an example for buffer evaluation, or in the following graph, a media optimization study. Laborious shake flask cultivations for screening purposes may be complemented or omitted at all, without compromising on the fungus complex morphology. If actually desired, this may also be influenced actively by altering cultivation parameters such as shaking frequency and diameter, or using other microtiter plate geometries like the flower plate. If you are interested in high throughput cultivation of filamentous fungi and would like to read up, you are welcome to request a copy of our app note under the given address. Go to our homepage or contact our support. Thanks a lot for your interest.